Hickok 45 here, and it's my job to shield you from buying the wrong gun. <laughs> nice, nice. Woo! These doggies. Wow, they had a lot of ammo, didn't it? I wonder why. Yeah, it's the Shield Plus. And uh, you've been asking for it. You've been asking for a lot of things, right? And, <laughs> and we uh, thought we'd bring it. For your edification, right? And uh, yeah, so the new Shield is called the Shield Plus. I guess this one's the Shield Minus, my old one. But uh, there's uh, there are a few differences. We'll just talk about them, shoot it, let you know what uh, I think of it. The shooting impressions is always a, a big factor, right? You can look up specs, you know, on the internet and get anything you want to know about the various firearms. But uh, I'll give you some of that too. Uh, I, I happen to have a couple extra mags, which is nice because I can actually shoot it some more. And uh, I have had a little bit of a love-hate relationship with the shield because I've never liked the grip. You know, I've gone the other one, I've got the um, Italian grips on it. And I actually, on, I, I don't know if it was on this one, I guess at one point. I had it built up, I think when I was going to carry it and did maybe a little bit. I put tape and tape and then wrapped around. I really Frankenstein the thing because on the shield, it, uh, it, it just feels like I'm holding a little board, the shape of the, of, of, not because it's small. I, I handle small grips on firearms. I like compacts, subcompacts, you know that. Uh, now I brought this out for that reason. Here's, here's kind of what I get out of the old shield. It's like grabbing this. Now this is a little bit wider or longer, but uh, that's kind of the edge there. That's the feeling I've always gotten with the shield. You know, it kind of wants to rock on me and it's just so easy to shoot left or right with it. Uh, you know, it's just felt so thin and flat. That's an exaggeration, but that's the feeling I've always gotten with the shield. And when I saw that the plus was coming out, I thought, and, and it was gonna hold more rounds, I thought, well, hallelujah, hopefully they have widened the grip, changed the contour of it, because that's that was maybe my biggest negative with the shield. A little heavier than the other micro compacts, but uh, that was my biggest negative. And lo and behold, it is, you know, in, in order to get 10 rounds in it in a flush magazine, yes, they did widen the grip a little bit. Now you might, well, since I have the talent grips on mine, this one is mine, uh, maybe it's harder to tell, but it's, it is a little thicker. I mean, it's a little thicker. You might be able to tell, or you might not. It, it's such a, a small amount that it is hard. Maybe on the inside you can tell better. I don't know, since there's no talent grips on the inside. I usually don't put them on the inside magwell, but uh, it's just slightly, slightly bigger, not, a very little bit. And uh, it holds 10 rounds with a flush magazine now. That's the biggest difference, right? They, uh, they went to war with the other companies like SIG and Springfield with the Hellcat is, hey, we can do that. <laughs> and we already have a firearm out there that a lot of people really like. So that's what they did. And here's the magazine. It holds 10 rounds and a flush mag. And that one's empty, but so now, and you know, the grip is no longer, no longer what? Yeah, no longer, let's put, this has ammo in it, but let's put that in there. In the old one, okay, <clears throat> okay. There you go. So you still have the same length and uh, you have seven in the old one and you have 10 in that one. Pretty good, huh? And before I tell you any more lies, uh, uh, so yeah, it's just a little fatter and, has, and it's fine. It, it, in fact, even if it held no more rounds, I would be more impressed with the, the Shield Plus because they fixed the grip. They fixed it, okay? It could be even a little bigger maybe for me. If this were mine, I would put some talent grips on it. I think that would probably make it perfect for me, okay? But since it's going back to Bud's, I'm not going to do that. But uh, if I buy one myself, in fact, I've already got the grips for the new one. Uh, well, I guess they're, no, I don't know if they're, they're a little bit different. I ordered some. Uh, because uh, I'll probably buy one, and I'll, I'll put those on there. I'll let you know how it feels. I just didn't put them on this one. But this, this is good. It's almost there in terms of the thickness for me. And I have a large hand now for new people. Very large hand. Boom. And, of course, it has a nice trigger, right? Can I shoot it again? Let's put another mag. Put a 13-round uh, mag in, too. You got to... Is that right? Am I right on that? I, I missed... Yeah, 13. I mess with these things so much, I forget the capacities. And uh, 
what I can focus on is the flush mag capacity. All right, I know you can get extra capacity. You can get 13 uh, round mags for some of the micro compacts or 15 round mags or 14. I can get a 33 round magazine for my Glock 26. And it'll, you know, that's always a possibility and there'll be somebody coming out with a, a different one tomorrow, you know, that will hold more or, or fewer or whatever. But what I'm most interested in is what a flush magazine will hold in this pistol. These are small pistols uh, you know, really, uh, all of these these four or five micro compacts are suitable for pocket carry for most people, and so the size is a really important uh, thing, a uh, factor. Okay, and so you know, the flush mag is, is my primary interest. I know I can always get a extension and get more rounds in there if I want to, like if I'm carrying on my belt, and that's what this one is. It holds 13. Okay, so it, it's not a problem on the belt. Now in a pocket holster, that might be a little added length I don't want, you know, or it might, it might work in a pocket. But uh, anyway, so got 13, let's shoot it, you want to? A lot of people just do not like a pistol where they cannot use their pinky, little pinky. And uh, so the extension, especially if you're carrying it in a holster, it might be exactly what you want to keep in it, right? Okay, this is not a shield holster. I don't know, I don't know maybe a Glock 19 holster, I forget, but it works in it. Uh, the shield is a little, it's not real thick. I think it's one point, am I correct? 1.1 inches wide in the slide. Uh, it's a little heavier than the other three or four popular micro, com maybe only micro compacts. I'm talking firearms that hold 10 rounds in a flush mag that are pocket size and all that when I say micro compact it's uh, this one is generally the shields always been a little bit heavier you know like then say a p365 by an ounce and a half something like that this one gets up to 20 ounces just a, a little bit over 20 ounces the others are like 18 18 and a half that that kind of category not a big deal but still it's a little different and uh, just a tad thicker maybe but but not enough to uh, to be a deal killer right Speaking of that, <laughs> oh man. Am I shooting blanks? Okay, let's bear down there. There we go. <laughs> it still could be a little thicker. Um, I think I'm pulling, pulling a little bit left on it maybe, but it's so much better, so much better. I'm gonna a couple more mags. Let me let me see if I can actually shoot a little bit better on those swinging plates down there. Yeah, yeah I got to be careful. I'll go. Left. I'm going left on the cowboy. Uh, so, you know, with my large hands, I need thickness on that grip. Doesn't bother me a bit. <laughs> of course a gun like this is for more or less up close and dirty uh, I'm always reaching out further than I should right so the biggest difference is now this is the standard there's a we call it a performance center model either out or coming and I think it's got night sights and porting and lightning cuts and you know things like that but in a, 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 you know, it's optic ready, I think, and some things like this is your basic shield right here. You know, it's the new one, the Shield Plus. It says it right on the slide, Shield Plus. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's just a basic kind of like the one I have. This, this one of mine is not even a 2.0. So uh, you got your serrations up here that that one doesn't. But the, even the uh, shields that came out, when did the, the 2.0, the shield came out, I think, in 2012. I remember it. And uh, then I think the 2.0 shield, 2017 maybe, along in there. And you have the front serrations, which are not much <laughs> good as far as I'm concerned. And I think a better uh, uh, texture on the grip, some things like that, right? And, uh, and then this is the next improvement, the Shield Plus. So 
it's kind of the history of the shield in a nutshell and uh, now it's it's uh, in competition with the p365 and let me before i shoot again or tell you some more stories i'm not going to do a big comparison we'll do a comparison video these are all empty with a empty mag in them uh, let's see let me just line them up and kind of and i'll let you know what you're looking at we'll do a better job in another video but uh so this is the hellcat okay if you're familiar the springfield hellcat we've got the shield on the left now and this is the SIG P365. Trying to get them lined up here so you get an idea on size. And this is the new Ruger uh, Max 9. It's a little, man, I better put it over here because it's a little longer, isn't it? Okay. So they're all kind of lined up there. So those are the four of the biggies. You can include the Glock 43X, I guess, which I have added. But these are the four that, that are kind of the same size. Uh, the grips are the same. Eh, close to the same length. See, when you get into the uh, Glock 43X, it gets longer. You know, it's more like a, obviously, a Glock 19 in length. Still, I guess you can consider it a Micro 9 because it's in the same kind of weight category. 10 rounds flush, but you get a longer grip, right? Uh, so that's what you got there in terms of size. You know, there's just not a lot of difference in size or weight. But now even a little bit makes a big difference if it's in your pocket. Okay, uh, you know, you get the Ruger, the M&P, the, man, those dudes are exactly the same length, aren't they, in terms of the grip. And then the SIG and the Springfield are pretty much the same length on, on the grip as well, but both are just a little bit shorter. And they all weigh around 18 ounces. Uh, we'll get into that more in a big comparison maybe. And, uh, and with the uh, shield being an ounce and a half or so heavier than the others, okay? Uh, a little extra weight you may not want, but then again, it makes it maybe softer to shoot, too. So you get a little more recoil with these small handguns. We all know that, don't we? Uh, most of us know that if you've been shooting them. So I'll move these back over there, uh, and we'll uh, do some comparison with that. So, yeah, the big difference, uh, you're, uh, it's got a nice finish, nice grip. Uh, it's a little slippery. I, I'd like more friction than that. And uh, I read they Cerakoted the, the frame, the grip. Uh, to match the slide better, but you know, I don't it's supposed to all be more black where some of the others were gray I, I don't really see a difference my old one I don't know, It looks like it matches pretty well. It's not very gray I do believe I've seen some that were had more of a gray grayish tint to them. Maybe they've been left out in the Sun I don't know so and uh, you know, I guess it's the same armor night uh, Finish on the stainless steel slide that's on the old ones. I don't know if that was on the old ones um, and another tr difference is the trigger. Now, when they came out with the 2.0, you started getting a really nice trigger, nice reset, nice break and everything. And this, this is no exception. This has a, a nice break and, uh, and the reset. It's fairly short, it's got a trigger stop. It, you know, it's a nice trigger, it really is. And uh, it's flatter, I like that. You know, There's the difference there. It is a flat face trigger. Some people think that's a little trendy, uh, but it's a trend I like. When I pick up a firearm with a flat trigger, just, I don't know, it feels good to me. I just heard somebody say that, why would you want a flat trigger? You got a round finger, you know? Uh, there's probably a good analogy to that I'm not thinking of, but I, I don't know, that doesn't compute with me. The flat trigger just feels good, okay? It, it feels better to me for some reason. Uh, who knew, after all these years, people making curved triggers that would suddenly want flat triggers. <laughs> so anyway, the shield, uh, that I didn't see any other big differences. That's pretty much it. You got a little fatter uh, you know, grip to, to get those 10 rounds in there. Uh, you know, the mag does the job and uh, you know, holds 10. Uh, that's the big thing. If you're gonna make a micro uh, nine or micro compact, uh, you really need to have 10 rounds in there. In, uh, in kind of in that size. If you're in your basement right now thinking you're gonna save the world making a really effective small pocket pistol, carry pistol, and if it doesn't hold 10 in a similar size, similar format, guess what you need to do? You need to go back to the drawing board <laughs> and start over, <laughs> you really do. And I guess maybe Glock needs to do that to some extent. Uh, even though this thing feels awfully good, I really like it. Uh, but I, maybe they're working on something similar, you know, where they can hack some of this off and still get 10 rounds in there. And I know some aftermarket company makes a 15-round mag for, for that.
but you know, still longer than all these other micro compacts. Okay. All right. So let's shoot a little bit more. And uh, see, I think it sells for around five and a half, something like that. Now, it's hard to know. Price wise, these things, you're going to find them for less than that. The Shield has been famous for coming out at really competitive prices. Gosh, do y'all remember, what's it been four or five years ago? You could buy a Shield for like 250 bucks or something, 249 you know that was unbelievable because it's a good little gun even if it's my last choice of all of these and i'm not saying it is uh it's a it's a good gun boy you can't go wrong with any of these we'll talk more about that as we uh we get into a you know a comparison uh video because i want to do a micro compact video i just want to introduce you to this today but uh any of them are, are just great we're living in wonderful times for small carry pistols. And uh, you, you can't do really, you, you don't go wrong with any of these you're looking at. As most of you already know that. And, uh, but anyway, the, the shield has been available at some ridiculously low prices on their sales and, and different things. Now these days with shortages and every that, we may not see that for a while, but uh, it's just, it's been a, a, interesting to see the pricing on some of these things. And, uh, you know, for example, if you can get this for now, I'll tell you something that's going to happen too. As these become available, widely available, guess what's going to happen to the old shields, like my old one and others? They're going to be on the market, I would guess, because there's no reason not to like this one. You know, they have changed it, yeah, but they've not ruined it. They've made it really better. What's wrong with 10 rounds versus, you know, this one to hold seven? You, where's the mag? Yeah, there's the mag. The mag that is flush in the old shield holds uh, da -da, seven, right? Yeah, seven, seven rounds. And then you got an extended mag like this one that holds another eight, an extra round, eight, you know. So that was what you were facing. I don't have a sleeve on that, but, uh, and that was the max capacity, all right? Yeah, there's nothing to sneeze at, but if you can have the same gun that feels good to you, and this is not big enough to bother you, believe me, it's not quite big enough for me in the grip. Um, you know, it's like a why not, you know. So I, I suspect there'll be a lot of these on the used market, and there'll be good guns, good guns. Yeah. So there you go. I don't know what they'll sell for, but there be, should be a lot of those around. All right, we'll take a couple more shots. Yeah, I haven't even shot across the hill, have I? Okay. It, it seems just fine. You know, I like I say, I still have a little bit of trouble. It's, it's a shield thing with me. It really is. I have tried to overcome it. Let me put two shots on the paper. I know what the problem is. I just shoot better if I've smoked a little pot. I don't know. There we go. Chris and the gong yet. Now I have. Yeah, I feel better now. Let's try that pig up on the top row. Let's put another mag in here. And try that pig up on the top row. Oh, I see it, it's barely missing. Well, let's barely hit it now. There we go. That's better. <laughs> let's try the turkey. There. <laughs> so all missing is just me. Uh, I just have to really make sure I'm not torquing, you know, that grip. How about you, Mr. Cowboy? Yeah. So I tend to shoot a little bit left. The other one, I tended to shoot a lot left. <laughs> Maybe that one layer of talon grips on this thing will, will solve that for me, okay? Maybe we get the uh, uh, the performance center in here. I'll, I'll wrap some of those around it, even just temporarily maybe, and, uh, and see if I can shoot it better. It turns my left-right uh, issue with the shield. I've always had that. Uh, so, uh, And that's probably enough, enough shooting. Uh, it, it shoots fine. And it's liked by a lot of people. It, you know, it's like a Ford F-150 or something. I, you know, the, nobody uh, 
needs to uh, sell you on a shield or me on a shield and I'm not trying to sell you on it anyway uh, it's just so widely known and so many of you have them you have one of the variations of it uh, or you're looking at it you know as one of these pistols if you haven't bought one of these and you're looking for a micro uh, sub you know compact you know it, it, man it's tough you know get to a range and shoot as shoot them as much as you can because uh, they're all good guns and again I have a big hand and so that's part of the reason I tend to want to shoot the uh, the shield to the left I want to it just again like I say it always wants to kind of torque on me and uh, it the new one is not as bad as the the older ones uh, still just I just need a little more uh, I need to Frankenstein the grip just a little bit more I'll blame it on that so uh, again they they start out I think I want to say 535 on MSRP, but we all know as they're out there, uh, the shield is is one of the most competitively priced uh, firearms out there. So who knows what you'll be able to get them for in a year if things get halfway normal. You know, maybe 400 or under. I, I don't know. Maybe 450. Who knows what they'll sell for? But uh, part of it is, I guess, because it is so popular, so many people buy them, they're able to, to sell them really at a competitive price. But there's a lot of competition, which we'll go into more, uh, in, you know, maybe in the next week or so. So, uh, I, I like the flat trigger and uh, I like the fatter grip. Uh, so it's an improvement for me in, in a big way. And there's probably things I haven't told you about it and uh, that's okay. I would rather you discover some things for yourself. Yeah, uh, uh, I think I've just told you all I know about it. Uh, mainly the differences between it and the earlier models. You know how to break them down. I, do I have to show you that? Do I have to show you everything? <laughs> now, there's a little lever you can push or you can just pull the trigger, you know, and yeah, looks like a shield inside. Yeah. So, you know, may, major change, you know, on these, you can, there's a little lever there. I, it's hard to get into unless you got a pin or something sharp, but you can pull it slide back, push that down, then you don't have to pull the trigger, be all aware of that. So you can break this one down without pulling the trigger. So uh, there it is. So the Shield Plus is definitely one you want to look at uh, if you're shopping for a small, you know, nine millimeter pistol, no, no doubt about it. It might feel better than the others to you and you might shoot it better or you might not, you know, you just kind of need to find out. And uh, we'll do some more comparison with all these, okay, before, I don't know, before uh, winter, before 2025, you know, sometime in the near future, actually. So glad you came out and we'll talk to you later. Life is good. Uh, fire. It's a long walk from where I had to shoot that. Oh man. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Since you're here, I want to let you know about our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. TalonGunGrips.com. Check out everything they have over there. You can get lots of different grips, the stick-on grip textures for your handguns and rifle grips. So go check them out. Also Ballastall. They're a firearms lubricant or anything else you might need lubricating. Uh, it's water soluble and non-toxic. Been using it on the compound and cleaning all of our guns. It's a cleaner and a lube for over 10 years. So Ballastol, Talon Grips, definitely check both of those companies out. And also, while you're on the internet, don't forget to go to Hickok45.com. You can also find us on Facebook, Hickok45, Twitter, Hickok45, Instagram, The Real Hickok45. And also, I have an Instagram page where I post behind the scenes stuff and different things like that. John, J-O-H-N underscore H-I-C-K-O-K-4-5 on Instagram. And uh, the next thing you have to do is watch more videos.